Hey guys, so today we are going to be making the chair sock, as I call it. So it's just this that you can slip onto your chair so that they don't make noise and they just easy to also throw in the wash when they need to be cleaned. So let's go ahead and get started. So I am going to be taking my G hook here. Can't see the writing, but it is G back there. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap this around my fingers twice. So you have the little back like that. And it looks like this in the front. I'm going to take my hook, slip it under, and grab the one in the back, pull it underneath, twist. I'm going to then pull from the back um, again, and we are going to pull through. And I let go of it for, I don't know why. Okay, so now we have that pulled through. Now, I am just going to, now I'm going to go ahead and just make this a little bit smaller because we don't need to hit that round. You can keep it large if you want to until you're finished, but I like to just go ahead and get mine to where it needs to be. So we are going to start by placing, get our working yarn, and we are going to be placing six single crochets into the center here of the circle. So right in here. So we're just going to go in there, pull up, and go around. So that completes the first. And then go on to our second and so forth until we get six. So let's go ahead and do that. I like to close my circle at this point. Um, everybody's different on how they close theirs up, but this is how it will look once you complete your six single crochets. I'm going to do a slip stitch into our first single crochet, so into the top of that, and then we will go ahead and do a chain one. So the next step here is going to be two single crochets in each stitch around and we will slip stitch again into the first. Now our first, our uh, starting chain does not count in this pattern as a stitch. So we're going to go ahead and just do one So we just increased by six. So we are finishing up here with 12 single crochets in the round and I slip stitch again at the beginning of each round and, or at the end of the round, slip stitch to the beginning of the round before, and then I do a chain one. Um, so now I'm going to do one single crochet in the first stitch, and then I will do two single crochets in the next, and we will repeat that five times until we are done with this row. And then we should be finishing up with 18 stitches in total. So here we go. So back to what we were doing. And so with these rounds, basically, the way that I'm doing this is I am increasing each round to, um, to get our chair sock a little bit bigger so that we can slip that on the chair. Now, I... This pattern was adapted for my chairs, and I will show you a picture of that later in this blog post. Um, 
so obviously everybody's gonna have different chairs so the patterns are very adaptive to your chairs mine are just a square I want to say they're probably like a one inch by one inch square and so you want them Mine are, th these are tight on the bottom. They get where they'll come up and they'll be tight so they don't fall off. So that's what you want here. And so we have two, one. This round, you should be ending with two double, two single crochets in the last stitch I don't know why this last stitch for some reason is so let's pull my yarn up a little bit so that I'm not so tight on the next round alright so we've done 18 and we are going to go ahead and slip stitch into our beginning stitch and we will chain one now for the round uh, four through eight we are just going to be doing one single crochet in each of the stitches and depending on how tall of a chair sock you want um, you know, some people like them shorter, some people like them longer. You can, again, um, in this part, change how many rows you do. This worked best for, like I said, what I was looking for in my chairs. Alright, so here is what I have after I have finished my eighth round and now I'm going to begin round nine and this is going to be a decrease round so what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically put here the camera will focus this is my first stitch here and then I'm not going to complete that first stitch I'm going to go ahead and put a or pull up a loop and then complete my single crochet so we are going to be taking two stitches and making them one so we're just going to go ahead and pull up our loop and then we're going to go in again to the second stitch and pull up your loop so you will now have three <laughs> three and then you are going to pull through all three. Next, 15. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a regular single crochet. All right, so that's 15 single crochets. And we are going to go ahead and do a decrease here and then just gonna go ahead, put our needle in, pull up the loop, go into the next stitch. My next stitch is here. Here's my next stitch, and I'm going to pull those together. Okay, so now I'm going to do my slip stitch into the starting stitch and chain one. Okay, so now next round we are going to go ahead and do decrease again. So just take the needle, pull up your loop into the second one, pull up your loop, and now complete your single crochet. And then we are going to single crochet into the next 
10. And then decrease in our last two stitches here. So single crochet decrease. So one, two, complete your single crochet and slip stitch in two. Now rows 11 and 12, we're just going to single crochet into each stitch and slip stitch at the beginning, like we've been doing throughout this whole pattern. So let's go. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you are done. Now I am going to grab my scissors here and I'm going to cut mine off and we are just going to pull that through there like so and then we're just gonna weave in our ends so let me go ahead and get my needle now because I like the way they look like this for whatever reason I turn mine inside out so before I turn it inside out I sew it in so then you can't see it. So we're just gonna go ahead and weave in the ends. And depending on how many chairs you have, of course, you're gonna go ahead and just keep on rolling with some more. And pull it a little tight. Let's cut the excess yarn. And there you go, we have our little, cute, little chair sock. And these, like I said, um, are very adaptable to your own chair. Very easy and you can use any color that will match. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.